Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you a couple of quick ways to get started sharing information in a SharePoint site. As you'll notice, I've created a new site here called the 2016 Kickoff, where I'm supposed to share information about that event. I can start with removing this big thing. It's rather helpful, but, but it does take up a lot of space. And I'll show you now how to share information, which is the point of using SharePoint, of course. There are several ways of doing that. The most common one is just to create documents right here in the shared documents and then you can upload a file or you can just create a file right there. So if I create a new Word document there, I can start typing in here, an agenda for the kickoff or something like that. And then start typing just like you would normally. And just click out there. Notice that you don't have to save information at all. It just gets saved automatically in Word Online. So now I go back to the top side and you'll notice that this document is indeed here. I can click on the three little dots here and click on the properties, the little properties of this document, and I can actually rename the file also. So that's one way of sharing information, just creating new files. You can, of course, upload existing files too. So now I'm going to just browse to my documents here and upload the attendees list, which is an Excel file. So that's another way of sharing information. Um, an even simpler way that everybody who uses Facebook knows how to do is just type in information in the news feed here, like that. And you can do that just by typing in, and there, of course, you can like, you can reply, and just type in there, like that. You can also add pictures. You'll notice they can do that both there in the reply and actually in the news feed here by creating a new entry. And there you can choose a picture. I'll just go into my pictures. There's my bubble. I'll share that, upload that. It's a very nice bubble. I'll post that. A final way of sharing information is to tag people. You've probably done that on Facebook too. And the way you do it in SharePoint is by using the at symbol and then just typing the few first few characters of the name of the person you want to tag. And I'll post that and you'll notice that now he is tagged there. So that's two ways of sharing information in documents or in the newsfeed. You can also go ahead and edit the page, just quickly edit and just save. Also a very simple way of sharing information. So now I've showed you three ways of sharing information, typing it into the newsfeed, uploading documents or creating new documents and actually editing the page. I would also recommend you to always, when you come to a new site, to follow that site. That makes it very easy for you to follow it and you'll find it under your sites list up here. So that concludes my demo on sharing information in SharePoint 2013 on Office 365. Thank you for watching.